Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing by Lock 13 on the Calden Canal, also known as the Calden branch of the Trent and Mersey Canal. That way, it's looking towards Foggle. But we're going to go that way to visit the Cheddleton Flint Mill, which is just on the other side of the road. So, we go around the end of the lock over Bridge 43, get one more view looking down the canal. Cheddleton Station on Churlet Valley Railway is about half a mile that way. We're going to go up here and we're going to go and see the Flint Mill which is just the other side of the main road so we've got to go through a rather tunnel-like bridge under the main road. It's not really a tunnel, it is just quite a wide bridge but it, it gives the feeling of a tunnel. Cheddleton Village is just up the hill up there and um, the town of Leek is a couple of miles in that direction so give you an idea of where we are exactly. It's just starting to rain. Um, you can see the drips on the canal. So here we approach the bridge. It's quite interesting how they've had to widen this bridge because obviously it has been a much narrower road even though it's the main trunk route from Leek out towards um, Stoke-on-Trent and Cheadle um, if you're heading in that direction. So get to here you can see the bridge this part of the bridge is concrete. But halfway through, we see a line, and this part of the bridge is brick. So now we're under, in fact, it looks like it's been widened twice. So there's another line here. So I'd say this is probably the original. Been widened once with brick, and then widened again with concrete. So it feels like we're in a tunnel, very short. Come out of here, and then we have a building going over the canal, so adding to the tunnel like nature. Come to here and we see a mill here. The flint mill that we're going to isn't this one, it's beyond this one, so that's where we've just been. It's quite interesting, a house with its um, shed like building over the canal. So the canal carries on this way towards Stoke on Trent. But the place we're going to, the Flint Mill, is just down here. So what we'll do, we'll go along here. I'll stay on the canal bank. We'll give you a, an overview of where we're actually going. Once we get past these buildings here, down there, you can see the Flint Mill. And that's where we've come to visit today. So we're going to go and have a look around. It is a working mill, so it's quite fascinating to um, have a look, see what there was. So. I'm going to come to here. You can see the crane on the canal. I believe there were kilns here for the flint, so let's just go down on these steps. I'm no expert on mills, so I'm just going to sort of show you. Um, if anyone wants to comment and tell me more, you know, tell me I'm wrong on what I've said, you know, feel free to. So I believe this is where the kilns were. I'm going to start by showing you the miller's cottage. And if you want to live in a miller's cottage, there's one for sale there. Um, so let's go and have a look, see what we can see. Quite an attractive little cottage with roses up the side. So here we go. Here is the interior of the miller's cottage. Looks like they're expecting someone for tea. See all the washing hanging up. A lot of chinaware, of course being near Stoke-on-Trent, um, known as the Potteries, so a lot of china, some of the big names such as Wedgwood came from Stoke-on-Trent. Out the back, um, it's like a little kitchen area, you can see a mangle there for drying the clothes. And then there's one other room I can show you, and they've also got, hmm, I think when I finish making the video, I'm going to buy this postcard of the mill, only 40p. Put that back for now there. There's a little room here. There we go. So, well, it's starting to rain now. I'm raining properly, but let's go and have a look at the mill. We don't need to be out in the rain. Well, first, I'm going to show you the garden of the mill. Go around the back. Or well, the garden's the cottage, rather. Come around here, see the little back garden. So they've probably grown their own vegetables. And there's their toilet. Of course, they had outside toilets in those days. And here, here is the mill stream of the River Churnit, and there we have a working water wheel. So 
this building, I believe this is the south mill. The building over there is the north mill. They are both working, although the north mill, um, they're doing some work inside, so they haven't actually got it in action today, but it could work. So let's go inside and see a working mill. So there's been a mill on this site, I believe from about the 12th century. It was originally a corn mill. The mills, so they predate the canal by, you know, a good 500 or so years. So we're talking a very long time there's been a mill here but what they are today they're preserved as flint mills so we come into here and there we have you can see a grindstone millstone we've gone round um, but what we have working so the mill the water wheel outside that we saw a moment ago we'll go around the back and have a better view you can see it's turning you can see the gears and then we're going to go upstairs and we'll see exactly what it's turning so we've got to come back outside we're going to go up these steps up here. This will take us into the mill upstairs. So here we are upstairs in the mill and I showed you it was turning a shaft. This is what it's turning. This is where they would have crushed the flint. So I believe in amongst this there'd have been more water, there'd have been some big stone like balls rolling around and they'd have crushed the flint right down and then the flint would have been washed down below so I believe it would have ran off you can see a, a channel down there ran off down there down there and that's where it had been washed we can see the the washing tub in the other mill and then when the flint was washed it was very fine it was like a yogurt paste and that was used in the potteries so I'm just going to go up here just to give you even better view so you can come when you come and visit like I have you can come and have a, a good look round you can see some of the millers workers tools there all on display and um, we go back down again so it's very much worth a visit here and if you wonder why I walked in without paying that's because it's free to visit we've got this string on this girder that is purely to stop you hitting your head as you can see it's very low I'm really duck my head so I'm glad they put the string there, I might have bashed my head, probably dropped the camera. So you can, here we are, this is, we've already seen this. We're going to go down outside now, back out into the rain, and um, we'll go and have a look at the other mill. There's something else I want to show you before we finish here. So, come out here, there's the canal up there. Here, they have a steam engine. Now, this mill never went on to being steam powered, but they've got, this stationary steam engine just to show you what some mills would have had so you can see big cylinder here and there's a big flywheel you see the flywheel in there so that's quite fascinating and um, the interesting thing to see going they haven't actually got a boiler so they don't steam it there is a little second hand bookshop in there i won't take you in there though and um, go around here here's the north mill and here is the river churn it so the river churn it comes along on its natural course to here and then the runoff goes there and then these two courses here turn the two mills so they're they're undershot water mills so the water flows under the water wheel to turn it last time we visited a water mill was never Audley mill over in cheshire near Audley edge that was very interesting that was a completely different mill to this but have a look at the link on screen now and you can see me doing the video there and how different it is to this mill and here we have the water wheel you can see now just how big it is I mean it's not the biggest water wheel I've ever seen but it's still big and there's the back garden of the Miller's Cottage where we were a moment ago so the water flows off there you can see all the ducks swimming up towards me. They probably think I'm going to feed them, but unfortunately I don't actually have any bread for them. So this is the other water wheel. It does work, but they're doing some work inside, so that's why this one's not running today. So let's go and have a look inside this one. And in this one you can see a better version, or you can see a version of the washery tub. So if you come in here, I'm just going to show you um, there's the big, the big um, wheel gear for driving the mill. You get a bit of view of it here as well. So you can see that would turn in turn, turning this gear. 
this is where they would have washed the crush to fit. So have a look in there. So this would all be turning. I believe the flint would have arrived in these little wagons on railways like plateways. I don't think there was any ever locomotive free pushed by men or pulled by horses. They'd have been winched up there, up through the floor, which we're going to go up to now and have a look. Emptied into the main tub like the one we saw in the other mill. Oh, and they've just started this mill up. Look, this, this mill's suddenly going. Didn't expect that, so perhaps they've mended what they were mending earlier on. So that's, that's quite exciting. So let's go upstairs and see what we can see upstairs. upstairs. So here we have the other washer, washing tub, so there would be water in there. Um, sorry, the grinding tub, and they'd be grinding the flint down. Possibly winching a wagon. Are you winching a wagon up? So I don't want to distract the millers too much, but as you can see, they are working on the chain. They're lowering it again now. So, um, very fascinating. I'm going to go downstairs because um, I'll let you get on with it. I'm going to go back downstairs and let the millers get on with it. But I thought if we go outside, we might be able to see the other mill. Oh, I think it's stopping now. I thought if we went outside, we might if we get outside in time. We should be able to see both mills, both water wheels turning. So there we go. Look at that. It's a fascinating scene. You can stand here and um, I'm between two water wheels turning. That's a really quite exciting thing. And this one is a lot bigger. That's a camera. They look probably on camera the same size, but this one is quite a bit bigger. That's really, really fascinating, exciting thing to see. Let you have a good look at that. So yeah, this is um well worth a visit you like I said as you can see you actually do get to see it all in action so I think it's really worth a visit and I said it's free to, to come to come and visit let's just go I haven't been around here yet so I'm gonna go around here we might get another view of the water wheels there's the river Trent um, not River Trent sorry River Churnit going off on its course heads down towards Cheddleton in a similar route really to what the canal does we come around here there's some ducks there Oh, and I frighten them away. Um, we come to this corner, we can stand and see the two water wheels. You can see all the spray coming off it. I find it really fascinating. Um, like I said, I don't know too much about water, water wheels, water mills. Um, other types of wheels such as mim windmills etc but I've just always found it fascinating all the gears turning and everything and it's always really nice when you can actually see it all in action rather than just see it static so I've pretty much shown you everything there is to see here I've had a great visit I've really enjoyed it I found it very interesting and like I said do come and visit them um, it's free to visit you could go for a nice walk along the canal there's a few nice pubs in Cheddleton of course, there's also the Churnit Valley Railway if you want to have a ride on a steam train as well. I'll just show you one other thing before we go. There's some of the kilns, there's an old plateway. So that wagon we saw, that's what would have it'd have rolled along plateways like that. So from the Flint Mill at Cheddleton, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about Henry's Adventures and about the Cheddleton Flint Mill. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.